Today we're flying on a red eye across the country and I gotta get to the airport. So a red eye essentially is just an overnight flight. We leave here in Hawaii at 6 p.m. and we're arriving in Dallas at 6 a.m. Yeah, that kind of sucks. The big plan for this is really just sleep as much as possible. When I get back, I have to go through my whole entire day because we land at 6 a.m. and I don't want to fall asleep until later in the day because then it just kind of ruins my sleep schedule. So I got this little, little neck pillow and I'm hoping it puts me to sleep. The second one is movies. I usually just go onto a flight and look for random movies as soon as I get on, but this time I thought I should plan. I downloaded three episodes of Shadow and Bone on Netflix, and I went through the American app to see what movies they have, and I'm looking at How to Train Your Dragon, which is currently top contender for obvious reasons, uh, The Broken Hearts Gallery, which is a rom-com, I love those, and Prissy Jackson and the Olympians. The new Netflix series comes out in December, so I'm trying to get ready for it. All of those movies add up to like six hours though, and then with sleeping, that should easily put me overnight. We're jumping through like five time zones. Now it's time for our flight snacks. Getting snacks at airports is kind of hard for me because I'm celiac, which means I have to eat gluten-free. And a lot of the food at airports is not gluten-free. But some of them have these trail mix bags, and even though they're ridiculously expensive, they're pretty good, and they are gluten-free. All right, Gabe, what's your plan to survive the, the red eye? Well, yeah. pop a few of these bad boys. And oh my gosh. Try to sleep. We settled into the plane and boarded and like got all sat down right around six. And it was really cool to see the sunset out the window, leaving Hawaii. The colors were super pretty. There was like purples and blues and I loved it. And then it was time to start watching some movies. That's when I ran into a problem. I went to the search bar and started searching for my first choice in movie, which was obviously How to Train Your Dragon. And nothing came up. So then I was like, all right, maybe it just doesn't pop up in the search bar. Maybe I have to scroll through all the movies. Did that, still didn't pop up. And that's where I started getting scared. But you know what did pop up? My third choice, Broken Hearts Hotel. At that point, we were only two hours in, kind of went to watch in Shadow and Bone. About four hours into the flight at that point, And I was like, I need to stretch my legs. It's time to sleep. Put my neck pillow on and I was all excited about it, getting ready to test it out. It was awful. I don't understand neck pillows. You're like just bending in weird ways and it doesn't, it doesn't feel good. So I slept awful, but after suffering with some terrible sleep for a little while, we finally landed in Dallas and it was like 5.30 in the morning. I barely slept. And the rest of the trip home was pretty easy. I mean, at that point it's early in the morning and you're like, you kind of just, you're ready to get home. So I stayed up through the next quick flight back to Nashville. Hey, Jerry. Oh, hey, sweet girl. My final review on the Red Eye flight was a solid one out of five stars. I would prefer to never take one again in my life. I think that was probably a Red Eye fail. I know I was trying to sleep through the whole thing so I could be up and ready for today, but I'm about to crash. I'm so tired. Red Eyes suck. That's all I got.